in this video, I'll show you how to use multiple parameter within the filter array action condition. So a while back, I have posted a video, what is filter array action in Microsoft Power Automate. So what it does is basically this video shows you how to filter uh, array action within the Power Automate data operation. So filter array is used to filter the relevant record based on certain conditions of the incoming array input and output the result which basically fulfills the filter condition. So in this example, I've shown uh, how to use a filter array and how you can filter out the content. So uh, just to give you an example now, as you see over here, this is there is a full name, there's a country, age, location, and status. Now, if I want to just find out the full name is equal to Girish, then I was able to filter that content and then show that record to the user. But a user has asked a question, it says, uh, Argentinian is a user. He says that can I only set one condition for evaluation in the filter array? What if I want to filter by two columns? Do I need to create another filter array? So basically, uh, let's see whether you can add a condition within the filter array or not. So for that, what I'm going to do, I'm going to write a flow. So it's an instant cloud flow and filter parameters. So this is the name and I'll just click on manually trigger a flow. So in this flow, first we will make use of uh, a compose action. So basically this compose action will uh, create uh, a an array basically, which will allow us to uh, work on some content. So the array is very simple. So I'll just show you what that array will look like. So it's a simple array. So how you can create an array is put a square bracket. Okay, so I'll just create the square bracket opening and close bracket and then you put a brace and then start writing your json okay so my json is basically so let me just zoom it a bit in double quotes i'll say name colon and name is a string so i'll just write the name name as girish and then the another column is basically age and age is a numerical value so i'll just put say age 40 okay and my first object is ready now now, similarly, I can copy this and then I'll create an, another object. So this is how I basically create an object. So uh, ahead of time, I have uh, created that particular uh, content. So I'll just paste this ready-made content over here. Okay. So as you see over here, name is Girish, age 40, name Girish, age 55, Jim 55, John 45, Jim 50. Okay. Now, this is the content. Now, what we are going to do, we are going to make use of select operation. So select is a part of data operation. Uh, so here from from content, I'll take it from the compose output and then I'll try to map the values. OK, so the two object which I have is name and age. So I'll just say name and age. And in here, I'll just select this. And here it's just a matter of identifying the name object from the uh, compose output. So how do we get from the compose the item name and age? Okay. So if I just type in the IntelliSense, I'm not able to find that out. So I just need to make use of um, FX over here and just say item of in single quotes name. And here again, I'm not able to find the age, so just make use of item function and in single quotes, just type in age. So this is how you basically get name and age as a select operation, okay? Now, the goal is basically to find out uh, how do we extract uh, multiple items based on the conditions, okay? So I will use a filter action, filter array action. So the incoming action is coming from the select. So I'll just select from here. So select output or output item. So I'll just select output. Okay. And in the filter query, I need to specify which item is equal, like what is the filter condition? Okay. Now, as you see over here, now we had name and we had age, and then we can pick up whatever value we want and this filter, uh, put a filter query uh, and then we can extract. So I'll just say the name is equal to Girish. Okay. So let me just type in name. Okay. Name is equal to Girish. Okay. 
now can we do this okay just put name over here so let's see okay so if i click on save draft and i'll just say test so i just want only value with the name is equal to garish and i've just put name in filter query okay i haven't used any specific operation Publish and test. And run the flow. So we have two columns, name and age. So I've just put name and I'll just, I'm just checking if this is giving me the correct output. Okay, so this is just with one condition. So name is equal to Girish. So if I click on filter area over here, go to show raw outputs and I do not see anything over here. Okay, so the output is nothing. But I remember in the compose action, we have name as Girish as one item, two item. And yeah, so I think I, we should be getting two output out of that result. Okay, so let's do one more thing. If I click on edit, go to filter array over here. Now, instead of name, I will just pick up this FX. Okay, and or maybe let me just select this. And I'll just say item of name, add save draft. So instead of just putting a text, I have made use of FX and then I've referenced a specific column. Okay. Go manual, publish and test. Now I know this is very basic, but I'm just trying to make you understand how do you actually make use of just a label or a power effects of, uh, uh, expression basically to uh, reference uh, an item now this is run if you click on filter array over here click on show raw, raw outputs and now as you see over here you have got two result now why this result was not available earlier is because we just use the text name okay so we should not do that we should make use of so I'll just remove this again. You click on FX. This FX is somewhere hidden over here. So you click on FX and then from here, just reference that column, okay? Item of name. Now, good. If you see over here, I'll just first add this. If you see over here, I say name is Girish, age is 40, name is Girish, age is 55. Uh, and I just want an item with multiple condition, name as Girish and age as 55. So, or maybe I'll just say I want uh, name as John and age as 45. So what if I have two conditions? Can I put two condition over here? No. As you see over here, you cannot add multiple conditions over here. So what are the other ways through which basically we can add a condition? So in order to first understand how this entire query works, you click on edit in advanced mode. And then as you see over here, the syntax basically says add the rate equals and then this fx syntax and girish right so if you make use of say notepad okay just i'm just showing you how to basically make use of write actual syntax so at the rate equals so i'll just put at the rate equals and then there is a power fx component the fx component the function component uh, and then girish right so that function component is basically translated as because we have written this right item of name item of name comma girish so this is how it gets translated to right and we close this so this is like one level syntax so you just use it for one condition but what if you have multiple condition? So for that multiple condition, what you need to do is, what is the condition? So condition is or. So if you use or or and, so let me make use of say or, okay? So the condition is or, and I will just put open bracket and the closing bracket. And within or, the condition is basically, I'll say, I want to first search for the equals and item of name of Girish. 
Okay, so I'll just copy this entire condition. So this is my first condition. What is what are my second conditions? So I'll just put a comma and then I will just say equals and then item and put in another column, age reference another column, and I'll say age is 55. So it can be equals, it can be greater than, equal, less than, equal, whatever, but this is for the sake of this example, I'll just put equal. Okay, so this is how the syntax will look, look like. Okay, so equals item of name Girish equals item of age 55. And what I'll do, I'll just get rid of all the spaces. Okay, so I'll just get rid of all the spaces and this is my correct syntax. So I'll just copy this entire thing. So I'll just do a control C. And remember, there's no at the rate over here, okay? So we can get rid of this entire thing, okay? Remove this, click on FX and paste the content. So when you put something in this FX box, there shouldn't be anything referencing at the rate, okay? So this is a simple condition. Instead of or, you can put and. Instead of equals, you can put some other conditions. But then for this example, I'll just say, I want the name as Girish or age as 55. So if you find that record, just sh show me that, okay? So I'll click on add. And as you see over here, I have got this FX written. So I'll just click on save draft. Click on test manually publish and test I'll run the flow click on done and once the flow is run just click on filter array show raw output so for output it shows you no output but then if you click on show raw, raw outputs you will here you will see the items listed. So why the first condition is satisfied, it will give me Girish as a name. Second condition is satisfied, Girish as name. Here, the second condition is satisfied for age as 55, and that's why it's giving me this record, right? So that's how you basically use two conditions, okay, in the filter parameter. So just to summarize what we have done, we have created a simple compose array. Uh, so this has uh, basically a simple JSON with name and age. So this is our data model. And uh, what we have done is we have selected the item and then mapped it into name and age. Uh, so we have just basically used a select operation. And then once that is there, we just uh, converted that into array, filter array, takes that array input and then further puts a condition on it. Now, as you see over here, that is from the UI perspective, you can only put one condition, but once you go into that FX uh, box, then there you can compose your own syntax. And writing syntax is pretty much simple. I showed it to you that you just need to properly break it down. Now, the simple syntax is like, if you put anything in the FX box, make sure that you do not have add the rate in it, okay? So simple conditions, what we do is like either pick or or and. So you can either put or or you can put and. You put a bracket and then you put your two conditions. So condition one, so I'll just say condition one, comma condition two. And condition one for our case is equals item of name Girish or equals item of age 55. And then once you get that, put that condition and then your syntax is ready. Paste that in that FX box and you can write multiple condition. So that's it folks. So thanks Arjitian for the question. So yes, the answer is uh, yes, you can set m more than one condition for evaluation in the filter array and you need not create more filter object to filter out the array item. But the options are not available in the UI. So you may need to bit tweak around and write with that FX operator. And once you are ready with that FX syntax, then you can actually add that in that filter condition. Thank you. Thanks for watching.